Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at some of the best windshield mount radar detectors on the market, and specifically taking a closer look at their ramp up and what they're telling you as you get closer and closer to the police radar gun. <laughs> Now, a lot of you guys have asked in the past, you know, if my radar detector is going off full tilt, does that mean that's when the officer can register my speed? And the answer is maybe. It kind of depends on the situation. It depends on the uh, exact conditions where you're driving. And it also actually depends on the radar detector. See, different radar detectors are gonna behave differently. And this may be a little bit confusing even uh, if you're switching between detectors. You'll find that, for example, unit and detectors tend to ramp up much more aggressively uh, and much sooner than maybe some other detectors. Valentine detectors, for example, are almost the exact opposite. They tend to hang back and be a little bit more lazy and they won't really ramp up to full tilt until you're really close to the officer pretty much in the kill zone. And this can be confusing if you're maybe used to one detector and then you switch to another. And so in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at uh, kind of the correlation between how the radar detector is alerting and also what the officer is able to see on their end. This of course is gonna vary from one setup to another and all that kind of stuff. But uh, testing here on the Red Barn course, uh, we're gonna go ahead and run all six detectors just like we just did in the uh, long range detector test comparison. And actually here's a list of all the detectors that we're about to take a look at along with the timestamps uh, of when we run each detector. And what I want you to notice is uh, kind of how the signal starts to progressively get stronger as we get closer and closer to the radar gun. Again, you'll notice some differences like the Valentine ones may take a little bit longer. Uh, the escorts will ramp up a little bit sooner. The unidens will ramp up sooner still. So with that said, let's go ahead and just run through all the different detectors. And you'll notice, again, don't pay so much attention to where the detectors go off that we covered in the previous video as far as long distance results. Uh, this one I wanna focus on kind of what the detector is telling you as it's going off and what the experience is like once it does start going off.
So as you can notice, there's definitely some differences between the detectors, right? Uh, the Uniden, the R7, definitely started to alert much more quickly and earlier on in the course, quite a bit before the officer was even able to register my speed. Uh, then we've got maybe some of the escort detectors and the Redensos, I think did a better job as far as giving you a more linear and progressive ramp up and not alerting until you're actually closer to the officer. And then the Valentines were actually pretty different. They sort of hung back a little bit longer. Uh, I think they were also did a really good job as far as progressively ramping up, but they didn't really start getting strong until I was pretty much in the kill zone and when the officer was able to register my speed. So if you're maybe used to running a unit in detector and then you switch to a Valentine, you may be like, why is my detector taking longer to get to full strength or vice versa? You're like, oh my gosh, maybe the unit is alerting farther away because it's alerting at full strength sooner than the Valentine does. And this can be kind of a confusing thing uh, just based on the behavior and the alert presentation of the different detectors. And so I kind of wanted to get into a little bit more of the nitty gritty as far as uh, some of the differences that you'll find in the detectors that you won't necessarily see in just a long distance chart with a bunch of bars that tell you how far away the detectors alerted. Um, how they alert along the way is also really important. So I wanted to talk a little bit about ramp up and some of the differences as well. So besides what I talked about here, let me know what you think. Which kind of alert presentation style do you like best? Do you like the Uniden's more aggressive earlier ramp up to get your attention? Do you like uh, maybe the Valentine's more lazier and relaxed ramp up? And it, I think it tells you a better job as, as you're getting closer and the terrain changes and whatnot. I think it's a little bit more informative. Or maybe do you like something kind of more in the middle of like what would the Redensos or the Escorts do? Uh, again, you can always just rewind the video and rewatch some of the runs to get a better idea. And again, things are definitely gonna vary in different situations. If the radar gun is pointed the different direction or we're looking at a straightaway instead of kind of a slightly curvy road like this. So this is not going to be representative of every single situation, but taking a look at this specific situation, I think we can learn a lot. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Let me know what else you guys have noticed that I didn't cover in this video. Uh, and then after this video, the next one, we're actually going to take a step back from some of the kind of details like ramp up like this and instead actually go over uh, the top detectors on the market. And now that the V1 Gen 2 here is in the picture, uh, talk about what are the best detectors depending on your needs, depending on your preferences, and depending on what's appropriate for you. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.